Hey there, YouTube. Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Tales of Exilia Let's Play. This is episode number 20, and we have, uh, gotten ourselves involved in some shit. Let's, uh, be real here. In case you haven't noticed, we're missing Elise and Alvin, and that is because a whole bunch of shit went down in the last episode. I highly advise you watch it. I'm not going to go ahead and recap all of it, but suffice it to say, they are both out in the royal hunting grounds, and we have to go find them. So we're going to do that now. Um, there is a lot of plot going on. Essentially, there is a secret society group called Exodus, who uses Spyrex technology. And there's also fresh mutton, of course. Always fresh mutton. But the Spyrex technology is evil and kills spirits and stuff. And so Mila hates that, and Exodus hates Mila for trying to destroy their Spyrex technology. So they are in the, uh, oh, hello there. They are in the business of killing Mila. Because why not? Hello, poachers have been killing monsters at the Royal Hunting Grounds. Could you help us get rid of them? Of course. All right. Pick a fight from high places, so they are going to be in a high place. All right. Let's go do it. Hunting grounds, royal hunting grounds. So, here's the problem I have with Exilia. It's a good game. It's a great game. I love it. It's one of my favorite Tales games. But, instead of having a nice little dungeon forest area for the royal hunting grounds, we just have a big overworld area. That's about as interesting as literally any other over... An ominous name. Let us take care to be the hunters and not the prey. Sounds good to me. Thank you. Um, it's no more interesting or less interesting or whatever than any other overworld area. So it's just, to me, it's like, do I don't know. It's hard to get excited about it. What are you weak to? Oh, this. My, my dark sphere thing. Okay. That does quite a, quite a good bit of damage, though. All right. Hello there. Hi. <laughs> way to be all the way over there, dude. Alright. Oh, I think we gained a level, didn't we? Did Mila- we- did we already deal with the Lillian Orb? I can't remember. Well, regardless. <laughs> we did, okay. Regardless, we still have Leia to deal with. All right, it is getting harder and harder to get these boons from uh, leveling up, which obviously is the point. This grass is super sharp. Okay, sharp grass. Cool. All right, what do we got up here? Other than you ambushing me like that, kind of a dick move. Not gonna lie, little bit of a dick move. Oh, you, do you call for help? I feel like you guys call for help. The harpies and shit. I don't know. Try Earth. Can you stop guarding for one second so I can kill you? Thank you very much. Much appreciated, Mr. Turtle, Turtle Monster. Too slow, Rowan. Most impressive. Alright, Jude. You and your level ups. I feel like half of the time I spend during these episodes is just in the Lily of Orbs. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Okay, there better be something worth up here. Anything worth? <laughs> does not appear to be so. Oh, there's a lot more over. Okay. I see a hole. I'm gonna go stick my head in this hole real quick. What we got? Treasure chest. Lavender, I will take. I'll wait until we get our team back together before we uh, start using those stat boosters. 
Um, let's see, what else we got up here? Any, like, uh, Ifrit arcs or anything? That'd be cool. Still looking for that top knot. I'm not sure where that is. I may look it up. I probably won't look it up. <laughs> Boom. Let's kill all the things. We killed none of the things, I think. <laughs> Maybe one of the things. Hello there. You wanna die? What's your weakness? Earth. That wasn't Earth. That is Earth. That was about as underwhelming as possible. You leveled up too. Thank you, Rowan. Okay, more Lilium Orb. This is how we do a good episode, guys. Is this exciting? Are you excited? For all of this Lilium Orb nonsense? Something tells me. Probably not. Okay. Yes, in all likelihood, this is going to be another episode of me wandering an area for 50 minutes. <laughs> I have resigned myself to the fact that at least half the episodes of this series are going to be that. And you know what? That's just how this game is, guys. That's what Exilia is. Excuse the fuck out of me! Okay. Okay. Can we please? Fuck all of you. There we go. We just fucked everybody up. Alright, hi. Everywhere I go, I'm just getting bombarded with enemies. Alright. So we can go this way. We have another high area over here. That's fine. Let us explore! I see a hole. What is in this hole? Hazardous liquid is in this hole. Happy to take some hazardous liquid into my possession. That seems like a safe thing to do. Alright. There's an arc. I see an arc. Is this a top knot? Look at that. We got a top knot. Let's not forget that we got a top knot. Because I will very likely forget that we got a top knot. Now that is a side quest that we've been not, like, pursuing actively, because we just had to find one. But that's a side quest that we've had on our plate for a little bit now. Alright. What do we got over here? 800 gold? Okay, thank you. I will take that. Yes, please. Oh, hi! I guess... Thank you. Great. Great. Okay. Cool. Boom. Kill them all with fire. Do it. All of them die with fire. And... Whirling Assault. Boom. Tetra Elemental is what that move is. That is pretty bitchin', not gonna lie. Okay, just die a little bit, please. Thank you. Wish they all could be that easy. Alright. Got some more stuff to do. So how is your Friday going? I believe. <laughs> I think I think it's Friday. Is it Friday today? It's probably Friday. It's not Friday for me. It is Tuesday for me. <sighs> Alright, what up? Darkness. That's not darkness. That's darkness. There we go. What's your weakness? Water? I, I don't have that. Okay. Age breeds greater experience. You're not wrong. Alright. Well, before we do that... There's, like, stuff over here. There's a treasure chest over here that I would like to acquire the contents of. That was impeccable grammar. What up? What we got? Mind Ward. Alright. I don't use accessories anywhere near as much as I probably should. I just, I don't know, I don't find them really necessary. 
which this is like the last game that that's a true statement for. <laughs> because clearly in Zestiria and Brazeria and all that stuff, they're a lot more necessary. Equipment becomes such a weird thing in those games. And it's handled okay in Brazeria and Zestiria, it is, it is not handled well. Have I ripped on Zestiria in this... Sorry. <laughs> have I ripped on Zestiria in this uh, Let's Play? I'm not sure if I have. I know I did it plenty in our uh, Symphonia Let's Play. But, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, I tried playing Zestiria once. I actually got a long way into it. I got quite far. I got... Where did I get to? Past the halfway point of the anime, I know that. Because <laughs> there was a significant portion of the anime that was just rehashing for me. Um, I got to the point where like, I had to go into the Dungeon of Fire, whatever that was. The dungeon where there was a lot of fire enemies and stuff. And we were doing a thing, I can't remember, this was like three years ago now. Um, but we were doing a thing that involved fire, and having to fight fire monsters and a fire boss and all that stuff. And I got my ass beat. And I thought I was just underleveled. And it, no, it's because I wasn't doing the equipment customization stuff correctly, where you have to, like, grind for days to get multiple copies of equipment so that you can synthesize it in, like, a Sudoku kind of fashion. I was just like, guys, I don't have time for that. I, I don't know what what you're expecting me to do as a gamer. Like, what kind of commitments you're expecting me to make to this game. But it is not that. It is absolutely not that. And so I very much put that game down and have not gone back to it since. I would love to play it all the way through. I know it's not one of the, like, one of the popular ones. I know a lot of people dislike it. <laughs> Which is unfortunate because the voice cast in it is amazing. It's a fucking amazing voice cast. It's got some of the best VAs that I can think of in it. Um, and I, w I would love to just play through it and get the full story, because I, I watched the anime, and I played Berseria, which is a prequel to it, and I would love to see how it all ties together, but I just don't have the patience for that gameplay. And I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I don't know if I'm going to just, like, play it on the, the easiest mode I could possibly play it on. Or if I can figure out some way to not make it horrible <laughs> as, a as a playthrough experience. Uh, I don't know. Chances are I will probably not play that game on the channel. Because, like I said, I'm going to do it in a, in a way that is not the way it's supposed to be played, and I, I don't, I'm not going to enjoy the experience of playing it, I doubt. Um, which is a shame. It's such a shame. But, they, they can't all be good games. Guys. <laughs> they can't all be good games. Um, I don't even remember where I was going with all that. I think it was just, uh, have I ranted about Zestiria today? Um, but, yeah. So that's why. That's why I'm not a, a Zestiria fan. And I don't get the sense that my complaint is unique. <laughs> I think that's a fairly common uh, complaint with this game. With, or with, with that game. Um, so. It is what it is. I like Berseria. I played Berseria recently. Um, I enjoyed it well enough. Uh, there were some parts of it that I, I wasn't crazy about. It just felt like it was too long and drawn out for... It felt padding. It felt like padding. It didn't feel like it was long for the sake of having a good story. It felt like it was long for the sake of making the game longer. And that's really the only problem I had with it. But aside from that, it was good. Um, and I will I will play that on the channel at some point. Not anytime soon. I wanna. The next Tales game I do, other than uh, Exilia 2, of course, um, will be probably an older one. There we go. Probably an older one. I'm thinking Abyss will probably be the next one. Like I said, I'm doing Exilia 2 immediately after this one just because I've never played Exilia 2. I played like half an hour of it, and I j it just fell through the cracks because I didn't have time to play it. And then I was like, all right, well, I'm going to do a channel, and let's wait to play that game so I can do it blind, more or less, on the channel. I think that'll be a fun experience. Um, 
And then I also have, other than Abyss and Berseria, I have uh, Grace's F, and I have Legendia. Two others that I'm not super crazy about, but to be fair, I've only played Grace's F once, so that will uh, that will be fun to play again. The only reason I didn't like that game, not, I say didn't like that game, that's not true. The only issue I had with that game was specifically one boss battle that I had to grind, that came out of nowhere, was significantly harder than anything prior to it, and I had wound up having to grind for like days <laughs> to get to a point where I could beat that boss. I legitimately thought it was a, a forced loss battle, originally. But that's really the only issue I have with it. And so to me, it's like, okay, I'll just keep that in mind as I'm playing it and make sure that I'm grinding a little bit along the way so that I don't run into that issue again. Other than that, I think we're good with that. Legendia, on the other hand, that was a rough game. <laughs> that was rough. It is, it is the antithesis of everything that is a Tales game, just about. Um... It just has so many things about it that are not standard Tales stuff, like random encounters, and zero puzzles, <laughs> and dungeons that are really just mazes. And I don't know, it's 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 a t the the art learning system is really shitty, and I don't know, it takes a lot of effort to play that game. Mysterious Jewel, cool. So at some point, maybe maybe I'll play it, but. I'm not in a hurry to, <laughs> so we'll see how that goes too. So I've babbled about Tales games for a while. As far as like other games on the channel, there's a lot of other stuff I want to play. There's so much other stuff, and I w I'm in the process of like trying to redefine how I want to start doing content on this channel because currently I have well, currently I have three series going. I think based on I still don't know when all these videos go up because I record them so far in advance but at the moment I believe we have this we have the letter and we have honey pop and honey pop has long since been recorded at this point I recorded that in like a week <laughs> that, that was a that was a very quick recording I did all of that before the first episode even went up um, and that was really just to get that game played on the channel, because I know Honey Pop 2 is coming, and I want to play that when it comes out, and I want to make sure I've already played Honey Pop 1. So, that was just overdue. But apart from that, it's like, okay, so we have two series typically going at a time, right? That's how this channel has worked. Um, I want to change that, because it's it's not that it's boring to me, it's just, it's, there's not enough variety, so I guess, I guess that means it is boring. <laughs> it's kind of boring. There's not enough variety. What I want to do, I think, is like, first of all, if a new game comes out, I want to just start playing it, regardless of what my schedule is. And I, I want to make sure that I have a, a, a upload, so I don't want to use the word schedule, that's, that's, I'm trying to get away from that. <laughs> oh, and upload paradigm that supports that. Me just picking a game out of a hat and, and playing it when I want to. And I also want to play games that aren't necessarily conducive to a series. Something that's maybe more open-ended and isn't necessarily like a game that warrants having like a even like a 50 episode series or something like if a game's just gonna go on forever I'm not just gonna keep doing an LP of it I will just have episodes not in a series just like here's an episode here's an episode here's an episode whenever I feel like it and I want to I want to kind of get more into something like that where I'm doing just episodes of stuff as I feel like it that being said Exilia and Exilia 2 is an ongoing series and that will stay that way But I think once I'm done the letter, um, I would like to not replace it with another series immediately. 
and I've discussed this before in other Tales of Exilia episodes, actually. Um, but, like, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I think that's part of the problem. I don't know exactly what I want to do. And I don't really have an audience that's here for any specific... I don't have an audience at all. <laughs> but I don't have an audience that's specifically here for any particular content. So I, I, there's freedom in, in just kind of changing it up on a whim because I, there's nobody who's going to complain about it. Which is fine. I, that just gives me a little bit of freedom. Now i got to pay attention in here because I think this is where the side quest... Yeah, those guys up there, okay. Let's go ahead and uh, hop up here and take care of this side quest. Because this is what that person at the exit of Jean Du was asking about. What up? Oh, you're just an enemy party. You're not the guys that were standing there. But like, yeah, so I want to I wanna start doing more, not random content, but like, maybe we have Exilia go up two times a week. As is. Right, you know. Um, Tuesday, Friday. And then like, Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Monday, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, just have whatever. Whatever I felt like recording that week. And if it's a series, it's one episode a week of that series. But it won't be a like a Tales RPG series, right? It'll be something a little more palatable. Like, I, I can imagine, like, something like Jet Force Gemini was. Right? Like, it's not a series that's, like, super story-heavy. And, like... You're on your at the edge of your seat, waiting to see what happens next. It's more just like, oh, I'm playing this game. It's like Mario. Or, you know, like, something that's just kind of a half hour of me playing a game. I don't know. That's that's where I'm at in my head. And we'll see if that... how that works out. Alright, you. We're gonna fight you guys. This is that hunting party or whatever that was poachers or something. Eat my fire. Oh, they're all weak against fire. That's great. Boom. Get wrecked. Get all kinds of wrecked. All right, well. That was very uh, uneventful. Melange gel. I think we can use a melange gel. Somebody is in need of HP and TP. And that somebody is Leia. Fantastic. Alright. Oh, hi there. Hi, you. What's your deal? What are you hanging around here for? Okay. Hi, I guess you really want a battle. Is your name Nate? Boom! Eat my magic, I guess. <laughs> I love that I have all four buttons now with moves that can combo. Alright, where was I? I think I was all the way back here, right? Okay. Is this where I came from? It is, okay. So let's get back over this way. And, uh, let's see. This is kind of a dead end, so let's go over here and explore first. Hi there. I will grind on you for some experience. Although I kind of feel like I'm overleveled. I don't know. We're having no issues against any of these enemies. Look at that. Look at that. Just wiping the floor with them. Beautiful cover girl. Okay. Some rocks. Ah, hello. Fur. Okay, well, we got that fur. And we got some enemies, which I think I think I'm going to avoid enemies for now. We fought a lot of them. Hello, can I climb? No, I can't. 
Where's the I, there we go. Fuck off. Oh, that was nonsense. All right. Get out of here, you stupid harpies. What are you? Harpies, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, it seemed like that was what you were, but you never know. You could be called something weird. The likes of you will not stop me. The likes of you will not stop me. Do you imagine if we just died to harpies and that was the end of, like, the hero's journey? Like, how shitty would it be? It was just like, oh, epic hero story, and then some random harpies in a random field killed them. The end. <laughs> Something tells me that would not be a legend that gets passed down very much. Alright. Hopping down here, where are we going now? I think we've covered this whole bottom area, yeah, so now we can make our way up. This way. Alright. This isn't taking the whole episode. <laughs> but we are almost a half an hour in, which is nuts! I feel like we just started this episode, that's crazy. Time flies when you bash Zestiria. All right. Oh, hello there. We got a hole down here. In we go. What up? Oh, that's just lame. <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. Well, whatever. Well, whatever. Is that... Yeah, there's mine. All right. Climbing up the vines. What up? We got another hole. This one better not be fucking empty or I'll be a little irritated. Okay, what up? Fuck off, you enemies. Alright. Blue Savory. That, that is, that is not empty. <laughs> that is quite, quite a good find. Alright. You over here, harpies. Guess we'll fight you, because you're gonna ambush me anyway. Alright. Killing them all with fire. God, that, that just seems so overpowered. It doesn't hit very often, though. Like I, I feel like I often miss it. Maybe that's the balance. Another level up. Good god. Alright, well. Get that agility. We got agility. <laughs> Whatever that does for us. I don't think I have enough uh, skill points to use it, though. So we'll just hold off until we get some more of those. Alright, I think we've got everything up here. Let's head on down. I think we've got most of this area now, too. So we're heading over this way. I see you. More hazardous liquid, and what are you? Buzzard Talon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go away. I don't have time for your stupid ass. Axe beak things. What up? Another hole. Yet another fucking hole. This is a very holy place. Ha. Ha ha. 4,000 gold, I will take that. Hmm. Hey, shopkeep. What you got for me? Can I buy back all the items that my uh, teammates have been using? Those are expensive. Those are quite expensive. We'll get some discounts for them later, though. Alright. Cool. Cool beans. Alright, um, do we want to save? We're, we're half hour in and we aren't... We, no, we're not saving. Let's go. Labari Hollow. What up? Oh, this is a very different atmosphere. 
This place looks different from the rest of the hunting grounds. That's exactly what I said. Footprints, and still fresh by the look of them. These small ones must be Elisa's. Let's look around, but be careful. All right, then. Well, here we are in Labari Hollow. Now, we should be able to come back to Labari Hollow. I think, right? Is it a dungeon? It is. We can come back here. That's good, because I want to go back to Jandu. Because we have a side quest update. Hello there. With your help, we were... We were able to chase the poachers away. Excuse you, I'm pretty sure we chased the poachers away. Of course, it's only a matter of time before they or someone like them shows up again. When they do, I hope we can count on you. Uh, probably, I assume. <clears throat> but we got horns Suddenly and 5,600 gold. We know what to do with. Yeah, I never knew beating up monsters would be so lucrative. Indeed, how much gold do we have? Over, over 100,000, that's what triggered that uh, little bit. All right, well, we got horns, so of course that means we're going to find out what some of these characters look like with horns. Uh, horns, what you got? Oh. Oh, that is just, that is just weird. <laughs> I, I don't think I like that. Uh, what did she have before? The... The sheath dagger. She looked like with a backpack. Oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hairpin. Yeah, let's go with that. Um. These guys don't have anything. Well, we have a top knot now. <laughs> It's kind of weird. I'm not. I'm not a fan. Um, pet dragon. Nah, that's stupid. Monkey King's headband. That that looks okay on Rowan. I think we'll go with that. I like that. Aviators. Yeah, what a badass. All right, we'll do that. Jude. I don't know about Jude. I don't know what he gets. Jude should get a backpack. He's a student. No, that backpack's stupid. I don't know. We're, we're, uh, we're good for now. We do also have another side quest that we can close out, which I believe is in Lakutum Sea Haven. Was this where the top knot master was? I feel like it is. I think he was down here. Are you the top knot master? You are. Hello there. Teach me the ways of the top knot. This is beyond my wildest expectations. Ha ha! I see there is still much talent in the world of top knots left to be explored. You have proven yourself worthy of receiving my life's work, the ultimate top knot. I present to you the Moe top knot. Oh god, we got the Mo Oh, we got pigtails. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it's got to be Leia. Where are they? No, is it here? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I think we have a winner. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. We got some Moe Top Knots. How about you, pigtail? No, no, too much, too much hair action going on there. That's that doesn't work. Bedhead's good. I like the hair antenna for you. And we'll see what Elise looks like with that. Can we can have pigtails for the dudes too? Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> no, no way. What about Rowan? Really, Rowan too? That's oh my god. We'll leave that for now. Just 
just because. Okay. Well, that was clearly worth it. <laughs> that was clearly worth it. Back to Labari Hollow. All right. Time to explore this crate. Is that a fucking monster over there? Oh my god, that's horrifying. Alright, where... Where's the dead end? Both of them seem like dead ends. But this is more of a dead end. So let's do that first. What do we got over here? Nothing. Okay. We'll come back around to this side. We'll do this side first. What the fuck are you? You are just really creepy. Oh my god. We have Exodus soldiers. And then we have Mine Plant. So, weak against fire and wind. Weak against fire, weak against fire. Okay, so we will use fire. We will try fire. Okay, can you not beat me down and beat me down and never let up? Alright, how about some wind? And some more fire and stuff. And some tetra element or whatever. No. Something went wrong there. Okay, cool. Oh my god, you look so fucking funny with those pigtails. Oh my god, Rowan. <laughs> I can't wait till we have to take him seriously in a cutscene. Oh dear. Oh dear. Agility. This is not Pokemon. Why do I need agility? Can I go in here? I can go in here. We will do that momentarily. Let's go out this way first. Hello, Mr. Exodus Soldier. We will circle around behind you and scare the shit out of you. Look at that. Look at that planning. Alright. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Okay! Can I move, please? Can I please just move? Can you just not shoot me with your machine guns? That'd be great. We're not even supposed to know what machine guns are. This is a fantasy RPG. More level ups. Okay. What do you get? Agility. Well, at least they're consistent. Alright. What do we got down here? We have a treasure chest. And it's got some giant shells in it. Alright, let's see what's inside this, uh... Mine shaft, I guess. Something to that effect. Just a room with a treasure chest. That's... I'm cool with that. Tofu miso soup. That does not sound appetizing. Can't say I'm a fan of miso soup. A lot of the Japanese takeout that I get just comes with miso soup. And I always just have to throw it away. Which is very unfortunate because it feels like a waste, but I, just, I can't get I can't get past the taste. It's just not I'm not a I'm not really a seafood guy. Which, I mean you could argue what are you doing eating Japanese food? Because <laughs> like half of it is seafood. But I don't know. There's something about the the broth of the miso soup. I, I don't know if it's I don't know what's I I used to know what was in miso soup, I looked it up once, I forget now, but I know there's some kind of like fishy thing in it. And I'm pretty sure that's what I don't like about it. But that's okay. Alright, what do we got down this way? Another dead end over here. And then we have another mine shaft thing to go into. And then we have a bridge to cross. Which, we, we still have time. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this episode, because... Stone Ward. Alright, anybody going to try to petrify me? Um, we have a save point up here, and then we probably have a save point way down at the bottom. 
and probably no save points in between, so I'm gonna probably have to do what I did with the Burmia Gorge and just like backtrack all the way back to the to the uh, entrance just to save and end off the episode eventually. Oh, you are a difficult encounter. All right, well let's do it. Let's do it. You can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. You guys are nobodies. We will kick your asses. Watch us go. Eat fire. I feel like that missed. I feel like that happens a lot. I'm also not sure when we became the green link rather than the blue link. Just goes to show how much attention I'm paying to that kind of stuff. I would love to get my healer back. Can I please get my healer back? Oh my god, Rowan. Oh my god. That... that is just... There are no words for that. No words. I imagine that's uh, what Todd Habercorn wears on a daily basis. Just double pigtails and aviators and... All that good stuff. Now I think, is it here or is it on a different bridge? I know there's a, oh, there it is. I have to go on the bridge underneath, I think, to get it though. There's an arc. Don't let me forget that that's there. <laughs> like, like there's people out there to remind me. That's adorable. Okay. Mime plant. Are you a pseudo widow? Is that what you're telling me? Look at all this fire. All that fire and fury. We are gaining way too many levels. I think I think this is a bad idea. Petty pilferer. We must steal a lot of items. All right. We got a treasure chest here. Battle guard? We have those already, though, don't we? I think we have those. I think we bought them. Psyche. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already have that. You were in a battle guard? Yeah, and so are you. Okay. So that's a big waste. That's fine, we can sell it. What do we got over here? Oh, we have a mine shaft that actually leads somewhere new. That's good. Pointy talons and, uh... What is that? No, that's just a rock. Okay. Okay, that's not a thing we can collect, but that is giant shell. Alright. And a bag of stuff. Geodes. Alright. Anything over here? Anything interesting down here? I think so. Maybe. Maybe some interesting stuff down here. Maybe. Just maybe. Just. Maybe. No, I can't. Really? There we go. Okay. What do we got over this way? Oh, is this like progress? This is actual progress. Alright, we don't want to go down here yet. Let's not do that. Let's take this opportunity to uh, clear out where we are here, and then I think we're going to go ahead and end. Oh god, I'm getting my ass beat from this magic. Don't do that to me, please. Thank you. That was great. Can we actually be near the enemies that we want to hit? That would be awesome. I wonder if there's a way... To, to get efficient use out of that without having half the attacks miss. I guess probably just position yourself so that you're surrounded by enemies at all times. That seems like a safe strategy. Alright. 
What do we got up here? Anything good? No. Giant waste of time. Okay. I think it's time to go ahead and backtrack. Because this is progress this way. And we're at 45 minutes, so I think it's a good time to go ahead and backtrack our way back to the save point and go ahead and end the episode off. Um, so next time, you know, we'll, we'll get more done. Obviously, we'll be in here from the beginning and we can make our way down to the bottom. I would say way before the end of the episode. I don't think this is a hugely um, difficult dungeon or anything, so... We should be able to get down there and then progress past this place. Um, which will be cool. We'll move the story along. We're, we're getting to some good stuff here. We're getting some, some actual meat on this story now. Um, and it's, it's about to pick up. So I'm excited for that. Go ahead and record over this. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and leave the episode off here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And make sure you're subscribed for more Tales of Exilia, Tales of Exilia 2 when that comes, and whatever other series and videos and other stuff I decide to wind up putting on this channel, I, I am still not sure what I want to do, but we will get to that point soon. Um, all that being said, next time we will continue the uh, Labari Hollow, and hopefully figure out what's going on with this Exodus bullshit. Maybe not next time, but we will be leading in that direction, so I'm excited for that, I hope you are too. Until next time, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.